Safe. If you want, I would like to hear you talk about Doubtful Min as a change. How on earth did his name get so big? My guess is a lot of people cheer for him qualifying and he always talks about doubt. Is this all Viper type that turned to some mass plexorosis, the AOE community? Mm, okay, let me think how much time do I give myself? Okay, let, let me take like three, four minutes. Okay. So... Uh, we are going back to probably the year 2002, where Dowd was one of the best players in the world. Maybe two th ah, maybe not 2002, let's go 2003 maybe. Uh, he and Chris were top two of the world for 10 minutes and Dowd was considered to be the best player in the world for a very long time. So just him being around for so, so long is a lot of his legacy, plus him being so good is a lot of his legacy. Then he was included in a lot of controversy, one of the first players to ever get paid for Age of Empires, bought off into a clan that was not the best clan at that time, for money, left there, then got ex excluded in the biggest tournaments, lots of fan drama around that, and then he switched into different clans, and was constantly dominating lots of players. Also kind of known that he was breaking the meta at times. In a sense that lots of hunts were for a very long time. Then Ad6 became popular. Then he for example uploaded a pack where he is still playing hunts. And is beating all the top players that were playing Ad6 against him. Then there was the biggest sponsor in Age of Empires history. Um, the Tyrant sponsor. He joined... Oh! He joined that clan and with a really weak team dominated a clan called RVK. Basically the new star team designed around I think Dogao, Jordan and the Viper. And they were the hottest shit on the block and everyone felt like they would dominate everything. And Doubt when it, uh, uh, managed to win with an inactive Halen and Cap. A team game tournament against RVK in a spot where no one felt like that would have been possible. And he was always very mysterious in the sense that he was never really writing a lot, never doing interviews, no one really talked to him before. Till I was the one doing a drunken interview with him in 2016 in China. And that was the first time people could really put... Uh, face to his name and like obviously the proper voice and Viper who was the biggest streamer at that time hyped him up because Viper always looked up to him um, as the greatest player right because Doubt was the best player for like likely 2005 till 2014 ish 2000, like till Viper took over right and therefore he was kind of the idol of everyone who played at that time and viper just kept hyping him and it's just the crazy thing that viper who was the best player kept saying okay but there's someone way greater the the lord right who taught us everything and then basically he already had a lot of legacy being one of the best players of all time being um kind of a myth as well and then he started streaming and was extremely like funny, entertaining, and kept showing results over all those years. Performed in team game tournaments with a lot of like controver like a lot of styles that made people very emotional and that was not really that much the matter, right? He showed how old people can still win. Had low APM, like he, he didn't have a lot of clicks, had great strategies, had great innovations, had a lot of memeable moments as well. Plus he was nice in interviews, good in front of the camera, nice with the people and still super successful. Uh, even won a 2v2 tournament, the very beginning of HD that came out, was really active in the 1v1s as well. And now obviously, therefore one of the biggest names because he's considered now still a top 10 player. Really funny in front of the camera, very meme -y, and that's why... There's so, so much hype about him, and so many people want to see him in the big events. Yeah, that's the that's the short version of it. If I should go more into detail... 
Just tell me, then I will start over again. No. Um, yeah. For example, I think my potentially best cast of all time, at least from what people gave me feedback on, was with doubt the Grand Melee semi-finals. I think, what was it? Leary against... Viper or something? I don't really know. It was not Hera playing and it was a semi-final, I believe. Um, my cast with doubt at Grand Melee. Um, and there you kind of understood how deeply he thinks about the game and what happens in his brain and so many things that are very... like intuitive but he can still put it into like words and gives so many thought processes behind it so maybe that also might like him a bit more would love a documentary about him narrated by you can you collab with Tarsus <laughs> Tiramis you mean probably um, I, I, would be, I would be down giving information yeah. I the other week got a question like of someone Wanting to do documentary sets um, in Age of Empires, but my ask for my hourly was too high for them because I obviously knew I was very, very busy with NAC over the next half year. Like they asked me some month ago and I gave them an hourly and yeah, they, they were not happy. Doubt occasionally rec reviews are amazing. So many aspects that are easy to miss. Yeah. And he simply has a style that is entertaining to people, right? Um, and he's funny. <laughs>